morning check. I'm drinking my coffee. I think it's been uh, eight days. 1331 miles. Not the best, not the worst. Still holding third. And the group of three behind me is over 200 miles away, so that feels good. The guys in front of me are hammering it. Let's see if they both can hang until the end or I can chase them down at some point. There's plenty of time to go. <clears throat> Thanks to everyone for donating for breast cancer. I think we're close to 7,000 out of the 10,000 goals, so that's beautiful. There goes their shooting here. We're in Nebraska. It's normal. Don't be scared. Um, yeah, so I'm eating breakfast here in Harrison, Nebraska. I don't know. I just crossed into Nebraska last night. Um, yesterday, yesterday was good. Started flat. And then uh, I was going down, moving fast. Hey, Scott, during the night. From Riverton through uh, Shoshone to uh, Casper, Wyoming. Then uh, as soon as the sun came up, it sucked the life out of me again. And I figured a few things. It's worse if there is no wind in the heat. I mean, kind of learned the hard way. Because if you stop, you're cooking slowly. And then, um, I mean, it was. Such a lack of wind. I was passing rolling hills, Wyoming. So on top of these hills, they have wind farm, electrical. The blades were not even moving. I mean, there was no wind whatsoever. So I had to make a bunch of stops. And uh, kept going towards um, Lusk. Lusk. Um, Wyoming. That's where I was greeted by fireworks, and it's pretty cool because I'm almost in the plains, and you can see for 20, 30 miles. So I was seeing fireworks from like three different towns at the same time. Before Lusk, Manville, I had the truck stop map, Three Sisters or something like that. Close at 9, got there at 8.30, perfectly, on time. The lady's closing down with the guy. It's all Indian reservation. And they were hammered, I mean, they were drunk. So, they tried to convince me to stay. Man, stay here, watch the fireworks. We spent over $5,000. Told him I gotta go, I just needed some food. Paving now. Yeah, some gravel here, Jack. Thanks for asking. But you're still getting those, um, uh, I don't even know what to call it, cracks every now and then. And you keep bumping into them. And the shoulders are worse. But um, we're hitting some gravel. I think soon we're going to hit the cowboy trail. So I told the lady, I just need some food. She said, yeah, come. We have barbecue 4th of July. We have some great roadkill. That's all I needed, so I was gone. But anyway, no, good night. Not feeling it today, but it's part of the game. Just gotta stay on the bike and wait until I feel better. All right, check back again. Some Nebraska wind for you.
miles an hour. I mean, I'm pushing heavy watts, 7.8 miles an hour. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're making progress though. We're making progress. Here's the next uh, morning coffee update. Made it to the biggest town around, I guess. Valentine, Nebraska. Um, coincidentally, the name is the same as uh, my mom's name. My, my daughter's middle name, Mia Valentina. Pretty cool. Hopefully this is my luck here. Um, because the cargo trail starts here, about 200 miles. Uh, finally, things have been freaking pretty good since yesterday. And these people are getting an awful great. So, yeah, 200 miles in nine days. Yeah, now. Ooh, Not so bad, a little behind my own schedule, but still pretty solid. Um, since yesterday, I think I trimmed 65 miles from Barry's lead. I guess she likes beauty sleep, and uh, I was still cranking it up out there. But now it was just efficient. I timed the wind. Um, I stopped at a campground in Cody. The wind before that was relentless. The headwind. But uh, yeah, the campground worked really well. I had three hours sleep. And I was checking the wind. I knew that. Turns into the first half of the day from crosswind to tailwind, the later I start. So there was no point coming through the night here to Valentine. And finding the wind kind of worked out because now things are looking a lot better. And, um, yeah, a bit cloudy, I guess, normal for this part of the country. It gets daylight a little late too. It's not 4.30. It was pretty cool in the west coast. It's daylight at 4.30 and it's still light out there until 9.30 at night. So, yeah, they should be fun. Hopefully the cowboy trail condition is okay. I know there is already three detours mentioned. But yeah, not bad after all. Hmm. It's crazy yesterday. On my way to um, Cody, I see a white wolf on the right hand side. Pretty crazy. And I know I wasn't hallucinating. But I wasn't that tired. So I'm hungry, almost bit myself. Yeah, and I shifted all the weight to the back of the bike. Hopefully help with the winds. I mean, not hopefully. Through a state or two. That are flat, I'm gonna save hours. I guess kind of uneventful, but just uh, just good when everything starts clicking. I mean, when looking at the stats, I know why Barry is taking such a long sleep break. I mean, I'm just guessing. He has the fastest moving speed, right? You move that fast, you wear out. Then you have to take a long break. <laughs> 